So again, uh, your thoughts on um, the urban revitalization district approved by the council and what you think that could do for your family? Yeah, um, I think that it would be a really great plan. Uh, it is a really great plan. It just got approved um, because one, there are families that may not qualify for any of the grant programs because they might make a little too much money, which is great that they're making more money, but that doesn't mean they're making a whole great load of money to qualify to just be able to bankroll any kind of their projects that they would be doing for their homes. Um, so I, I just, I think that that would be a, something that would be great. Can you talk a little bit about some of the, or I guess what your family experienced yeah. and, and maybe the kind of the frustration or difficulties you had and how this would help out? Yeah, so some of the frustrations that my family and I have experienced, we live past where the Washington revitalization ends and it's at 22nd Street. And so we live just literally a few houses past that um, line. And so because of that, we did not qualify for any of the programs that were for the Washington Revitalization Program. So if we had lived the other side of 22nd Street, it wouldn't have mattered our income level. And so when we did move in with anything that considered lead, we made $100 too much for that program. And I forgot to even say in front of the council, there were some other things of when we did qualify, there was no more money for the lead program because they were working on re-upping their grant, which, you know, makes sense. Grants have to be renewed. Um, but then when we did qualify, uh, my husband would be starting a new job within a few weeks. And so that made us making too much money. And when I say a few, too much, it's just a little bit. And so it wasn't, again, the same situation where we weren't making a great deal of money more. Um, we have three kids at home. Um, our daughter at that point had developed lead poisoning over the summer, and so we I had already contacted um, the lead program, and again, unfortunately, they said we make too much money. And so that was just really hard to hear that we had to go get a home equity loan, which we were trying to avoid that because, again, we're trying to stay within our means and pay down debt and, you know, just make things work with the budget that we have. And um, be responsible with our and with our money. Um, so, thankfully, we were able to get a home equity loan, but that that is more more debt that we had to go in to just be a part of our community and to love on our neighborhood by wanting to make it better. And how would this change help your family maybe going forward? Well, we may qualify for um, by having done the work. Um, we may qualify for that we have improved our home by 10%, which we have given where we started three years ago when we moved into our home at, in, in 2016. And so one of my questions was, would that, will we be able to backdate? Unfortunately, again, because we were outside of the Washington Revitalization Network, or excuse me, neighborhood, um, we don't get that backdate from where we hit when we had moved in and started the remodeling. So hopefully I can get more information and I know I can the gentleman mm. with that works I believe works for the city is downstairs answering questions right. um, and then just in, in general what do you think this will do for for your neighborhood um, by being incorporated into that urban revitalization district um, I think that it'll incentivize people that are in our boat who you know are thankfully not in low income but you know just a little bit above that so again not making six figures by any means but still making a good living still want to have our kids go to the local schools still love that what's going on in our neighborhood the bee branch is awesome Comiskey Park is going to be it that will be I don't know if revitalize is the right word but will be um they will be improving that soon that is something that the parks the leisure services is working on um doing the behind the scenes kind of stuff. So uh, I, I think it'll be a great improvement to our neighborhood.